Hello and welcome to my video all about how to shorten your jeans by hand and create a brand new hem. Here are some things you will need. A hand sewing needle that passes through denim easily. A pair of sharp scissors, preferably fabric scissors. Some strong sewing thread in a colour that matches your jeans. A magic fabric pen and either a piece of chalk or a chalk marker. The chalk is optional if you're hemming light coloured jeans, but if you're doing dark coloured jeans then chalk is definitely recommended. You'll also need a sewing thread that's going to be displayed on the outside of your jeans, and it's likely that you'll want this in a gold colour. You'll also need sewing pins, an iron and an ironing board. The first thing to do is put on the jeans and decide how short you want the jeans to be. Use a sewing pin to indicate where you want the new hem to finish. You want to insert the pin horizontally into the jeans leg. The next step is to move this pin upwards by half an inch. So that's moving the pin half an inch up the jeans away from the hem. This is to account for the width of the new hem. Then you can take the jeans off. I have folded the jeans leg outwards and upwards at the point where the sewing pin lies. So the length of this leg now is the length you want it minus half an inch. If you look at the original hem on these jeans you can see that it's half an inch wide, it has gold coloured straight stitches that are close together and it's a double fold hem and that's what we're going to try and recreate. If I use my ruler to measure this folded over section, it measures three and three quarter inches from the pin to the top of the hem. You now need to make sure that the folded over section measures the same all around the leg. So in my case, I'm going to measure the folded over section to check that it's three and three quarter inches long all the way round. Once I've done that, I secure the fold with some sewing pins. You also need to make sure that the side seams on the folded over section line up with the side seams on the rest of the jeans. The next step is to mark one and a quarter inches up from the fold all the way around. To do this you can use a chalk marker or a magic fabric pen. Then use a ruler to join up these points. So now we have a line all the way around, one and a quarter inches from the fold. You then need to cut along this line with some fabric scissors. This removes the denim that we don't need anymore. Once you've done that, you can remove the sewing pins and turn the jeans inside out. Now it's time to go over to the ironing board. You then need to fold over the edge of the jeans outwards by half an inch and press with the iron. And then you do exactly the same again. So you fold the edge of the jeans over by half an inch again and press with an iron. This creates a double fold hem. As a result we now have three layers of denim in the hem, with even more at the side seams. To make it a lot easier to sew we need to reduce the bulk at these seams. To do this we simply cut out a portion of the side seams between the raw edge of the denim and the first fold that we made with the iron. and you'll notice that the hem now sits a lot flatter and a lot neater in those areas. Next, pin the side seams in place 
so that they line up with the side seams on the rest of the jeans. Then pin the rest of the double fold hem in place at regular intervals. As I mentioned before, the original hem had straight stitches very close together and they were created in gold thread. So that's what we want to copy as best as we can. I used a Guterman polyester thread so it's strong and I bought it in a jeans gold colour which is specifically intended for this use. You then need to cut out a length of this thread, add a knot at one end and feed the other end through the needle. If you're unsure how long a piece of thread to use, I usually use a piece of thread no longer than my arm. If you use a piece that's too long, it's liable to get tangled. I then begin sewing, starting at one of the side seams. I take my needle from the back of the hem to the front, near the edge, and pull tight. Then I do the same thing in the same place Pull the thread until it's almost tight and there's just a loop remaining. Take my needle through that loop and tighten. This secures the start of the thread. I then push my needle through the hem from the front to the back in the same place before turning the jeans right side out. I'm going to be sewing to the right and I'm going to be sewing back stitches. So next I go one stitch length to the right, then from front to back through the hem. If you don't know how long to make the stitch length, have a look at the original hem and use that as the guide. Next move one stitch length to the right and then push the needle from back to front through the hem. Then move one stitch length to the left and push the needle from front to back through the hem. Then you move two stitch lengths to the right and go through the hem from back to front. And you repeat those last two steps. So you go one stitch length to the left and go through from front to back then two stitch lengths to the right and go from back to front. One stitch to the left, front to back. Two stitches to the right, back to front. And so on and so forth all along the hem. As you can see from my first stitches, it's very difficult to keep the stitches straight. So, one step I would definitely recommend to do is to measure half an inch and no more from the edge of the hem and draw a line with a chalk marker or with a magic fabric pen. This line then acts as a very handy guide. As you can tell, my stitches got a lot neater once I had this line to help me. When you've completed stitching all the way around, finish with the needle at the back of the hem, inside the jeans. To secure the end of the thread, go in and out of the denim on the reverse of the hem, where you just finished stitching. Pull the thread until there's just a small loop remaining, take the needle through the loop and tighten. I then repeated this two more times just to make sure. Don't worry if your stitches are not quite even or aren't perfectly straight. After all we're not doing this with a machine, we're doing this by hand and you won't be able to tell once the jeans are being worn. As a last step you can then press the hem with an iron. And that's it, you've now finished hemming your jeans. I really hope you found this video useful and thank you very much for watching.